In this video, you will learn the new Bloomberg BQL function to use directly into Excel to extract financial data. BQL stands for Bloomberg Query Language and is a new API that allows us to download financial information directly into Excel. The advantage of BQL with respect to formulas such as BDP or BDH is that with just one query, we can populate many different cells and extract data for multiple fields and multiple securities all at the same time. So let's see how it's done. In Excel, go to the Bloomberg tab and click on BQL Builder, which opens the application. You will see that we have two input boxes, one at the top to select the securities we want and one just below to choose the fields that we want to display. Say that we want to analyze food companies in the Standard & Poor's 500. So I start typing Co for Coca-Cola, then Pepsi, and then let's say Mondelez. The search bar is very intuitive. Even if you don't remember the ticker, as soon as you start typing the name of the company, BQL will suggest it for you. Say that for those three companies, we want the earnings per share, so I type EPS and then I click on add more fields just below that will open a new input box. Say that we want also the earnings per share growth, for example. And then if we click again, we can add even more fields. So I'm going to put also the market capitalization. Here on the right, we can select the cell where BQL will display the results of the query. I'm changing that now to A1. We also have the possibility to preview our data set by clicking the preview button. This looks very sensible to me, so I'll just go to the bottom right and click insert and run. So now for each company, we have the earnings per share and the growth in percentage, and we also have the market cap. If I change the format to accounting, these numbers will make more sense. This shows that both Coca-Cola and Pepsi are worth around 200 billion, Mondelez is smaller, and its equity is worth 82 billion. If you remember, with BDH and BDP, we had to write multiple formulas and we had to drag them around the spreadsheet to extract all the information we wanted for the several securities that we had. But in this case, with just one query, we can get everything we want much faster. Imagine that now I want data for all the members of the Standard & Poor. We can use the BQL grouping function. Near the security box, click on the F button and select members of. This will get you the constituents of any equity index you're interested in. After that is selected, I will type SPX for the Standard & Poor 500 and just below, I can select the fields I want. For example, the last price and the market capitalization. Click Run, and there you have it. You will have 500 rows and three columns. Let's try now to download some time series. So some historical data for Netflix. Turn off the grouping function first by clicking the F button and selecting None then you can start typing the name of the company. I want to extract the EBITDA, which stands for Earnings Before Interest Expense and Taxes for the past 10 years. To specify the time frame, click on Edit Default in parentheses, and then click on Customize at the bottom. First thing to do is to modify the period type. By default, we will get the last 12 months but we want quarterly data, so I select that instead. Then in the period of set, I can choose how many quarters I want to go back into the past and in the future if I also want to pull future estimate of earnings. In my case, I want 10 years of historical data, so I type minus 40 because I'm choosing quarters and also plus 2 because I want the next two quarters estimate. Then make sure here on the right that it also says Q for quarterly. If we scroll down, there are other options that we can modify, such as the accounting standard or the currency in which the data is displayed. Once you are happy, click on Save in the bottom right. 
and then just like before insert and run now you will see that my data is quarterly and it goes back 10 years ago and i also have the bloomberg forecast for quarter one and quarter two of this year 2021 which are not been published yet for last example i want to show you how to download panel data which means historical data but for many securities at the same time I will get historical prices for all the constituents of the Nasdaq. So I use the grouping function again, then I select NDX, and then below I pick PX last. If you click on edit defaults in parentheses, you can choose the time frame and the periodicity. Say that I want to go back one month only and I want daily prices. So I select that from the drop down and then go to insert and run. Now this looks okay, but as you can see, BQL has pulled also the prices for the weekends where markets are closed. Normally we would clean this data in Excel, but with BQL we can perform adjustments and calculations directly on the cloud. So how do we fix this? Open again the builder and then click the parentheses near the field you want to pull. This gives the option to customize the selection and opens the edit parameters window. The second option from the top asks what we want to do when data is missing. There are several things we can do. We can fill the data with the previous ones, which would repeat the Friday data in our example, or we can choose to ignore that row altogether, which is what I will do because the weekend issue is something that affects all my data set. Then click save and insert and run. Now this looks much nicer and cleaner. I have my dates in column A and then my header in the first row. This data set is shaped in wide format. Statistical software such as Stata and eViews will not analyze your data set if it's shaped like this in a wide format. You have to reshape it first into a long format. I've done a couple of videos on this topic. One is for a smaller data set and is a manual process. And then I've done a second one, which is a bit more uh, advanced, uh, uses VBA macros, but is able to reshape much larger data set. So feel free to check them out. Thank you so much for watching this far. I'll see you next week.